Now let's take up some questions based on comparison for indices, right? Let me put it this way. Let me start with a question like this. 3 raised to the power 5 and 5 raised to the power 3. Which one is larger? Here you can use the values, right? So you can simply compare the 3 raised to 5 is 243. 5 raised to 3 is 125. Now 243 is greater than 125. So 3 raised to 5 is greater than 5 raised to 3, right? So this is the answer. Similarly, if I say what is 5, uh, which one is greater, 5 raised to 7 or 7 raised to 5? Now for this one, you need the powers of 5, that is 5 cube is 125, 5 raised to 4 is 6 to 5, 5 raised to 7 is 7, 8, 1, 2, 5, right? So 5 raised to 7 is 7, 8, 1, 2, 5. Similarly, you can check the powers of 7, right? 7 raised to 4 is 2, 4, 0, 1, 7 raised to 5 is 1, 6, 8, 0, 7. So here it is 16807. You can clearly see that 78,000 is greater than 16,000. So 5 raised to 7 is greater than 7 raised to 5. So this also we could do. What we are doing here is we are using the values, right? But these are, please understand the 3, 5, 7, these are smaller values. Okay. So for them you could actually check the powers. But if the values are larger, then what will you do? Let's say for example, which one is greater out of 15 raised to 17 and 17 raised to 15? Now this will be really difficult. You cannot depend upon the values. You cannot calculate the values in a shorter duration. Okay. So what you must do. Let's go back and check these values again. Here the pairs are 3 raised to 5 and 5 raised to 3. Oh, so that means we are, we are just reversing the number and the power. Reversing the positions of numbers and the power. Base and the power. Like say in this case it is 5 raised to 7 and 7 raised to 5. What we are doing is we are putting the base in the power and the power in the base. Right. So here also 15 raised to 17 and 17 raised to 15. You know, just by looking at these two relations, you can see that 15 raised to 17 will be greater than 17 raised to 15. Right. Whenever the smaller base has a higher power, will be the higher number. Right. So whenever we have two numbers in which number and the and the power, the base and the power are being interchanged, then that number will be larger, which has a smaller base and higher power. All right. Let me put it this way. Let's take, let's go to the smaller numbers, very small numbers. Okay. Let's start from 1 raised to 2 and 2 raised to 1. We know 1 raised to 1 is 1, 2 raised to 1 is 2. So definitely 2 raised to 1 is greater. Oh, so just now whatever rule we said is not working out here. Okay. Let's see. Go ahead. 2 raised to 3 and 3 raised to 2. 2 raised to 3 is 8. 3 square is 9. Oh, so 9 is greater than 8. Still the same rule is not working. Don't worry. Go ahead. Let's take 3 raised to 4 and 4 raised to 3. Now 3 raised to 4 is 81. 4 raised to 3 is 64. So 3 raised to 4 is greater. Right. Now here onwards, let's check another one. Five, 4 raised to 5 is 1024. 5 raised to 4 is 625. So this is greater. Please try and understand that these two are the only exceptional relations. Right. Okay. Other than that, other than these two, Always the smaller base to higher power will always be greater than greater than higher base to the smaller power, right? So look at this condition very carefully. The same two numbers should be repeated, right? So if it is a raised to b and b raised to a, only in this such cases, if a is smaller than b, then a raised to b is greater than b raised to a. Just remember smaller base higher power will always be greater for the same pair of numbers. Right. The only exceptions are 1, 2, 1, 2 and 3. 3 onwards, if the numbers are more than 3, right, and 3 onwards, this rule will follow. Okay. Both A and B should be greater than or equal to 3. Right. So this rule can directly be utilized. Less, if any one of them is less than 3, this rule will not work like in these two cases. In fact, these are the only two cases where it won't work. Okay. Say for example, uh, let's say 2 raised to 4 and 4 raised to 2. 2 raised to 4 is 16, 4 square is 16. Oh, so both are equal. So this is actually the limiting condition, right? But here also the rule is not working. So this also can be taken as an exceptional relation. So these are the only three exceptional relation. Otherwise, always smaller base to the higher power for the same pair of numbers will always be the larger. So for example, if I have 13 raised to the power 15 and 15 raised to the power 13, without any confusion, 13 raised to 15 has to be the greater one. Okay. Let's say suppose we have 99 raised to the power 100, 100 raised to the power 99 without any confusion 99 raised to 100 has to be greater than 100 raised to 99, right? Let's say if we, even if we get a very close situation like this, if I have 99.99 whole to the power 100.01 
and 100.01 to the power 99.99 nothing to worry clearly 99.99 to the power 100.01 will be greater right so these questions will even even though they look like difficult ones they are really really easy questions you can answer them just by looking at them okay now on the basis of this let's take an example now let's take up this question it says arrange the following numbers in ascending order let's say this is a this is b this is c this is d right we have to arrange them in ascending order all right now here a is 3333 no problem let's look at b b is 333 cube right b is 333 cube now if you see even the square of 300 is more than 90000 or is around 90000 here it is only 3000 so definitely a is less than b right only the square would be much higher than 90,000. So, cube will be much bigger. So, A is less than B. All right. Also, we can compare B and D directly. You know, we can compare B and D directly. How? Let's see. B is 333 to the power 3. D is 3 to the power 333. So, just now the rule that we did, on the basis of that, the number for the same pair of numbers here, the numbers are 333 and 3. 3 and 333. So, that number which has a smaller base and higher power for such combination will always be greater right so clearly d is greater than b so we have placed three numbers a b and d now let's compare b c and c d now let's compare c and d is given c is equal to simply 33 raised to the power 33 right see when we have to compare two numbers either you make sure that the bases are same or you make sure that the powers are same right here the bases are 33 and 3 right so we may not be able to make the bases same. Let's try to make the power same. How do we do that? Let's see. D is equal to 3 to the power 333. 333 in the power can be written as 330 plus 3. That means it is 3 to the power 330 into 3 to the power 3. Right? Now 330 is 33 into 10. So D can be taken as 3 to the power 33 into 10 into 3 cube is 27. So it is... Uh, 3 to the power 10 whole to the power 33 into 27, right? Whereas C was 33 to the power 33, right? Now look at this carefully. I'll write it again here. We have C equal to 33 to the power 33, whereas D is equal to 3 to the power 10 to the power 33 and that too multiplied by 27. Even if I ignore this 27, here the powers are same 33 33 try and see that which one is greater 33 or 3 raised to 10 you know if you compare 3 raised to 10 would start laughing okay because 3 cube is 27 3 raised to 4 is 81 3 raised to 10 is definitely going to be more than 33 right 3 raised to 10 is definitely going to be much greater than 33 that means d is greater than c right so we already had this situation where a was the smallest than B than D. Now D is greater than C. So now to place C, we need to identify the place of C with respect to B also. Okay, let's take up now. Now B was equal to 333 to the power 3. Right? Let it be like this only. What about C? C is equal to 33 to the power 33. Now here just do one break. Uh, let, let's write the power as power 33 as 11 into 3. So this means the C can be taken as 33 raised to the power 11 whole to the power 3. Right? Now compare B and C. The powers are same 3 and 3. Look at 333 and 33 to the power 11. We know that 33 square only is 1089. Right? So 33 power 11 will definitely be greater than 333. So their cube that is B will definitely be less than C, right? So what all do we have now? We have C less than D, we have B less than C and we have A less than B. So finally, the ascending order, the correct ascending order is A less than B less than C less than D. So this is the answer of this question. All right. So this way we could have utilized that rule that smaller base to the higher power for a combination of a situation where their power and the base are interchanging will always be greater when the base is smaller, power is higher. Alright.